Hello guys, welcome to today's lesson. Today we are going to learn about types of sets. Uh, under type of set, we have what we call the finite set. We have the finite set. And a finite set is a set whose members are known with certainty. This is a set, set whose members these are set whose members are known with certainty. In other words, this is a set whose members are countable. You can fully count. This is a set with countable number of members. Example, we can have a set containing all alphabets, and that I'll call my set 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 A, I'll call my set set A, it will have A, it will have B, it will have C, it will have D, all the way to letter Z, and how we enclose the set. This is a set you can count all the alphabets, which are usually 26 members. So this is a set with members you can count. We can also have another set. Maybe I can have a set M that contains all the numbers from 0 to 10. And my set will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this becomes a finite set because the members can be fully enumerated or can be fully counted. We have the second type of the set, which is called infinite. Infinite set. This is a set whose members cannot be fully, cannot be fully counted. And we have an example, I can have an example e.g. We can have a set of all whole numbers. If you have a set of all whole numbers, that means we shall have one, we shall have two, we shall have three, we shall have four, five, all the way. And since we cannot fully count them, we shall not enclose. We, we shall not have the last number to enclose this. We shall only enclose the bracket, but after the dots, without a number. If, for instance, we are talking about the finite set here, yeah. this is also a set we can write. We can also write this set like this. We can also have set M, which equals to all number 0, 1, 2, up to 10, and then close this. The last number here is 10. To mean this set is ending where we have number 10, a member number 10. While this set does not have an end, this is a fin infinite set. The set number three, set number three is what type of set number three is what we call a subset. Is what we call a subset. A subset is a set. This is a set. This is a set derived from another set. So that simply means this is a set gotten from another set. And I can have if you are given, given set A, set A which contains, which contains one, two, three, four, five, six. If this is my set A, I can have a subset. So I can say, I can say we have a, we have a K, which is a subset of A, and which will be given by maybe two, three, four. K will be said to be a subset of A because all the members of K can be found, can be found in set A. Equal set, equal set, equal set is a set that has the same elements as another set. So this is a set with similar elements like another set. 
And I can give you an example, e.g., given set given set A with members A, B, C, and D. And we are also given set B with members B, D, C, A. We can say that the two sets are equal. We can say that the two sets are equal. That is set A is equal to set B. Because the two, the two sets have the same members. Even though the order is different, but the members are the same. So the two sets are said to be equal. So the other member, the other type of a set is a set number, type number five, which is universal set, which is a universal set. Universal set is a set that contains, this set is a set that contains all, that contains all elements that a researcher, a researcher or a particular person is interested in. So this is a set that will contain all the elements, all, all the items that a particular researcher is interested in. The other type of set, the other type of set is, uh, the other type of set is called empty set. It's called empty set or null or a null set. A null set is a set that does not contain any elements. Set that does not, does not contain any element. This is a set that does not contain any element. In other words, it does not contain any member. And to denote this set, it is denoted by empty brackets, like this, A is an empty set. You can also say A is a null set. A is a null set. You can use this to denote a null set. Take note, take note, a set A that contains zero, this is not a null set. This is not a null set because zero itself is a member. Zero itself is counted, zero itself is counted as a member. Zero itself is counted as a member. Thank you.